What's good with YouTube? It is your boy Vaughn, and as you guys can see by the title, we are back with a new video for you guys today, and we are going to be reacting to an SML movie, Brooklyn Guys Ball. And this actually just dropped a day ago, and I, like I said, I got to catch up on the SML, so you know I'm catching up on these right now currently. As always, original video will be in the description down below, and if you guys would like to follow my social medias while you're down there, I would greatly appreciate it. And without further ado, we're going to go ahead and dive right into this. Let's get it. Always past due, Karen. Well, Boyne, we need to make more money. <laughs> well, I already have like 50 jobs, Karen. I'm already a cop, a doctor, a firefighter. What else do you want me to do? He really is, though. Well, we could sell <laughs> I never some even paid stuff. attention to like, that. What? Sell the couch? <gasps> yeah, Boyne, we could sell the couch. We could make like $500. $500 is not going to be enough to cover these bills, Karen. Well, we could sell <laughs> some of your knickknacks, Boyne, and maybe you can quit drinking. Okay, well, I'm never going to quit drinking, but I guess <laughs> I could sell some of my knickknacks. I mean, I do have something that's worth money. What is it, Boyne? Let me go get it. I have Tom Brady's last Super Bowl touchdown ball. Oh my God! Oh Boyne, my God! Did you get that? What do you mean, Karen? You don't remember when Antonio Brown came to my hotel after the Super Bowl <laughs> and gave me his jersey and this ball? Well, that was nice of him. Yeah. <laughs> well, how much is the ball worth? Man, Antonio Brown, bro. Boyne? Well, the ball itself. I haven't is heard of him in a little a minute. Dollars. Oh my God! A million dollars? Sell the damn thing! Well, there's just one little problem, Karen. What's that, Boyne? This damn signature. What's wrong with this signature? Is it smudged? No, it's just Antonio Brown's signature. Oh, isn't he the nice man that caught the football? Yeah, unfortunately. Why unfortunately? Well, you see, Karen, he's a super gremlin now. What's a super gremlin? <laughs> well, I'm not entirely sure, but if he is in fact a gremlin, I guess somebody fed him after midnight because he tore off his clothes and ran across the field during a football game. He did that? Uh did he do that? Did he? Oh, yeah, take a look. Yeah, see, that's him right there. Yeah, there he is. Oh, okay, yeah, well, he did he that. Okay, that was just his shirt. Yeah, maybe, but that's I thought he was talking about all of his clothes. I was going to be like, wait, what? It's not getting a lady's face. Well, that's inappropriate. It sure is, and so is throwing patio furniture off the 14th floor of a condo, endangering the people below. Well, Boyne, I'm sure <laughs> that's not going to affect how much the ball is worth. Yeah, you're right. I'm sure him punching a moving truck driver in the face and throwing rocks at the truck probably didn't affect the price of the ball either. <laughs> Boyne, I'm telling you, someone's going to want this ball yeah maybe somebody will i guess i'll take it to a pawn shop and see what they'll give me for it hey welcome to the pawn shop what do you got <laughs> for me <laughs> well i actually have tom brady's last super bowl touchdown ball whoa damn that's got to be worth at least a million okay i'll take it in cash please wait what's this uh, that that is uh that that's one of the other players signatures i, I don't know whose that is wait is that antonio brown's signature no no, no definitely not that's, um, <laughs> that, that, that's number 18 yeah, hey, Tyler johnson the ball's just upside down no that's definitely antonio brown's signature yeah i don't <laughs> want this ball especially not after he bought an arena football team and didn't pay any of the players yeah he did do that and you know all of the assault charges yeah those yeah there are those but what about the ball though uh, okay, look, if you can get Tom Brady to sign this ball, then it would be worth a million dollars. But Tom Brady's never going to sign this ball. Yeah, I know. That's your problem. Okay, but like, what if Tom Brady didn't sign the ball? How much would it be worth then? You would have to pay me $5 to take this ball. Okay, <laughs> I guess I'll try to get Tom Brady to sign it. <laughs> well, Karen, I got good news and bad news. What's the good news? The good news is the pawn shop will give me a million dollars for this ball. <laughs> Well, you see, Karen, that's the bad news. They will only give me a million dollars if Tom Brady also signs the ball. But that should be easy, Boyne. You love Tom Brady. Oh, I do love Tom Brady. <laughs> but you know who doesn't love Tom Brady? Who? <coughs> Antonio Brown. That's silly, Boyne. They were teammates. They have to love each other. Oh, yeah, you'd think. Especially <laughs> you don't have Antonio to love Brown each other as teammates, sweetie. Before Tom Brady got him signed to the Buccaneers and let him live in Tom Brady's house. And then they went on to win a Super Bowl together. So you'd think they'd be really good friends. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. This would hit extra different right now if this was NBA. Like, if they were talking about KD or LeBron or something, you know, what I mess with, you know, NFL is cool, but I don't watch it like that. But see, they're not because Antonio Brown mocked Tom Brady about his divorce. That's horrible. Oh, it gets worse, Karen. He also photoshopped his head on Tom Brady's body in pictures of him and his wife together. That's a little weird. Yeah, it is. That and so is happen. this kid's book cover he photoshopped that says Daddy doesn't live here anymore and shows Tom Brady leaving his house and Antonio Brown living in his house, implying that he is now the father of Tom Brady's children. That's so mean! Yeah, it is. And so is this. He posted a picture of him hugging Tom Brady's wife after this Super Bowl, so there's no way Tom Brady's signing this goddamn ball. Boy, you get being silly. He's not going to recognize that. That signature that could have been any of the players he put his number next to it boy you just Tony brown went crazy if he did all that yeah okay maybe you're i forgot right. about well, that stuff already tom brady does have a public signing today so i guess i'll take the ball there and try my luck 
All right, everyone in line to meet Tom Brady. Remember, one signature per person. Um, uh, Ma'am, ma do, do you know how Tom Brady feels about signing Antonio Brown balls? Sir, you're going to have to wait your turn. Th th that's not what I asked. <laughs> oh, wow, I see you have an Antonio Brown signed ball, too. Oh, yeah, this is actually his last Super Bowl touchdown ball. Oh, awesome, I have one of his playoff game touchdown balls. Do you think Tom Brady's going to sign it? Listen, man, I don't know. That's what I'm wondering, too. Next in line. Ooh, wish me luck. I want to see how this goes, because if he doesn't sign that kid's ball, he's not going to sign mine. All right, sir, this is Timmy. Oh, hey there, Timmy. Oh, my God. Hi, Mr. Brady. I'm your biggest fan. Fifteen seconds, sir. Okay, let's hurry this up. You want me to sign something? Oh, uh, yes. Will you sign my ball? Sure thing, champ. Wait, what the fuck? Is this Antonio Brown's signature? Uh, yeah. Get the fuck out of my face, you fucking brat. If you're a fan of you, you're not a fan of me. Sarah, turn this ball and tell this kid he can never see me again. <laughs> On it, sir. Wait, Mr. Brady, no, please. Get the fuck out of here. I wouldn't kiss you if you asked me. Next. <laughs> All right, next in line. Uh, I, I actually just want a picture. Okay. All right, sir, this guy just wants a picture. No, oh, what's wrong? You don't want old Tom his autograph? Oh, no, sir, Mr. Brady. I, I think a picture will be just fine. Say cheese. I'm sorry my smile wasn't good enough. That kid in front of you pissed me off because he wanted me to sign that Antonio <laughs> Brown ball. Oh, yeah, what an asshole. I, I would never do that. Uh, sir, did you drop this? No, that's not mine. That's not mine. Uh, you should just throw that away. Okay. But what trash can, though? It, it was very nice meeting you, Mr. Brady. <laughs> uh, ma'am, ma'am, I actually want that back. You said it wasn't yours. I lied. Well, how do I know you're not lying now? Well, you were going to throw it in the trash. Who cares? Bonnie, you're back! Did you get your ball signed? Uh, no, but I did get this selfie. Aw, that's a lovely picture, Bonnie, but why didn't you get your ball signed? I didn't ask. You didn't ask? He cussed out a child, Karen. Bonnie, you're a grown-ass man. You could have asked nicely. <laughs> and a cop. You're a grown-ass man and a cop. Bonnie, we need that million dollars. I bought Hulu without ads. What the hell, Karen? We don't need Hulu without ads, money. Well, we would if you sold the ball. He is never going to sign this ball, Karen. Well, Boiny, what if you remove the signature? Well, Karen, it's permanent marker. It's not coming off. It's permanent. Well, we could cover it with a Band-Aid. Hmm, let me think about how that would go. Sure, I'll sign your ball. Wait, what's under this Band-Aid? Antonio Brown's signature? Fuck you. You thought you could trick me. You <laughs> son of a bitch. I'll kill you. Yeah, we're not going to do that. <laughs> they got Boy, animated, an animated scene in them. Because we... I'm a girl, I'm hot, and he's single. You're not a Brazilian supermodel, Karen. Well, that's rude. No, I think there's only one way I can get this ball signed. How? I'm going to have to kidnap Tom Brady. What? I'm going to kidnap Tom Brady and force him to sign the ball in order to be let go. Boy, you can't do that. I am going to do it. I'm going to kidnap Thomas Edward Patrick Brady Jr. And who's going to help you do that, Boyney? I know just the guy. Uh, hello. I've been standing there for like five minutes. Oh, sorry. I was just waiting for the transition. Yeah, I need your help kidnapping Tom Brady. What? Kidnapping Tom Brady? Why? Well, you see, I have his last Super Bowl touchdown ball, but it's signed by Antonio Brown, which means it's pretty much worthless unless it's also signed by Tom Brady. So I need to kidnap Tom Brady and force him to sign it. Well, why do you need my help? Well, who am I going to pin it on if I get caught? What? What? Look, I just need your help kidnapping Tom Brady. Well, do you have any good ideas to kidnap Tom Brady? Well, I was thinking we could set up a kissing booth and hire his son. <laughs> hey, yo! So much money, because Tom Brady's going to be there all day kissing his son on the mouth which he often does frequently okay That's well crazy. i have a better idea what if we tie a string around a football and throw it in the yard and then maybe tom brady will grab it and we can pull him in oh that could work tom brady loves football all right marvin throw the ball in the yard okay <laughs> all right now let's go wait upstairs doom 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 they gotta chill bro is that a football i love footballs blue 42, set, hut. He grabbed the football, Marvin, pull it in, pull it! Wait, 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 what am I getting out of helping you kidnap Tom Brady? I'll give you 10 grand, just pull it in! Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> pull it in, Marvin, pull it, pull it! Oh, he's a big boy, he's a big boy, bring him in, bring him in! Hey, oh, yo! Marvin, Marvin, tie him up! Tie him up, tie him up! What the hell? Why'd you guys tie me up? Uh, Mr. Brady, we need you to do something for us. What, you need my help getting in shape? TB12 method? Uh, no, I need you to sign my football. Wait, I remember you, you were at my signing! Why didn't you just ask me then? Well, because, Mr. Brady, it's a football that Antonio Brown also signed. What the fuck? No way in hell. I ain't signing that. You might as well just kill me. Oh, come on, Mr. Brown. No way, Jose. When pigs fly, under no circumstances. Absolutely not. Well, just sign it real no quick. No way. Not in a million years. On no account. In no circumstance. It's just a quick Not by any means. Not for all the tea in China. Not under any circumstances. <laughs> not on your life. Not on your Nelly. Over my dead body. When hell freezes over, certainly not. Hell no. I don't think so. Not for love or money. Not in any way. <laughs> 
him out. <laughs> knock him no, out. No, indeed. No thanks. Not at all. Not for a moment. Not really. <laughs> at no time. In a pig's eye. Nah. <laughs> negative. No fear. No siree. Nope. Not under any circumstances. Not over one's dead body. Hold the chili. Hold the cream. Hold the mustard. What? I'm good. Uh, in no case. In no why. I think <laughs> he wants to sign it. Yeah, I don't think he does. What if we offered you money to sign it? I don't want money. I want Antonio Brown to suffer. Well, Mr. Brady, I have his Super Bowl jersey. What if I traded it for you so you could, like, wipe your ass with it? <laughs> okay, I like that idea. I'm gonna wipe my butt with it. Okay, you got yourself a deal. Okay, I'll get it. Okay, Mr. Brady, I got your jersey. <laughs> it says brown. That's the color of the stinky shit I'm gonna take on it. <laughs> oh my god, Marvin, he actually signed it. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Burn in hell? Yeah, but look, he still signed it. Yeah, but it says burn in hell on it. I don't even care. You know what? I don't even think I'm gonna sell this. This this adventure's been too much fun. Guys, look the news! Breaking news, okay? Tom Brady <laughs> wiped his ass with Antonio Brown's Super Bowl jersey and then auctioned it off for $2 million. Wow, he sold that fast. You think he'd wipe his ass with my ball? Probably not. Oh, well, I'm gonna take it home and show my wife. <laughs> Karen, 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 he signed it! Really, Brady? Look! Born in hell! Boyd, why would he write that? Well, it might be because we kidnapped him or he may have been talking to Antonio Brown. Okay, but Boyd, <laughs> how are we gonna sell this ball for a million dollars now? Well, Karen, I made the decision. I don't want to sell the ball. It means too much to me. But Boyd, how are we gonna pay our bills? Well, I don't know. Maybe I can pick up another job. Boyd, I have an idea. I could sell feet pics online. Karen, you don't have feet. <laughs> but Boyd, I can download stock images of feet and sell them online. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was absolutely destroying Tom Brady in this the whole episode. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and then he took the jersey and wiped his ass with Tony Brown jersey. I I honestly forgot that all that stuff happened between Tom Brady and Antonio Brown. So this was a, this was a good trip down memory lane because that was during the pandemic and everything. As always, the original video will be in the description down below. And while you guys are down there, if you would like to follow my social media links, I would greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next one. We are out. Peace.